Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. It's a small channel and it won't cost you anything. My goal is to get 1000 subscribers by the mid of this year. Thanks. I hope you guys are doing well. So today we'll be looking uh, at an approach for texturing, uh, for combining texturing and uh, Blender material nodes. If you are a beginner or intermediate and you actually don't have much understanding of Blender nodes, and this tutorial is for you. It's going to be extremely short. I'll just give you two examples and you can basically understand what, uh, what I mean. So the first example is like this um, energy beam shooting out of uh, this, um, I guess we can call it a hole or machine part or whatever. Whatever. So normally, if you were to go with material notes to create something like this, it would be extremely, uh, it will take a lot of notes and it would be pretty much difficult to get this central part to be animated as well as um, creating these circular shapes. Maybe the circular shape part, creating the circular shape part wouldn't be that difficult, but animating them would probably be difficult. So what I did is, for this one, I created a texture of this sort of um, central part of the uh, beam and um, I created the uh, side, side gradients of the energy from uh, inside Blender. So let me just show you the shading node for the setup for this. It has a basic mix shader and with the emission shader on one side and principal BSDF with the image uh, of this sort of egg shape uh, on one side and it's been animated by the mapping node. And on the, over here, the color dynamics is controlling, controlling it. The black part is uh, the uh, emission shader and the white parts is the central part of the uh, uh, the X shape of our energy. So creating the X shape and animating it just with blender nodes would have been a lot difficult and, and uh, further animating it would have been a lot harder too. So if I just uh, play this, as you can see the setup is working pretty fine. The other approach is, um, I'll just open this and I'll just hide the slender and the plane because we don't need that for this. So the other example is um, combining again material nodes and uh, normal maps. Basically, if I go over here to this node setup, there is a normal map, and it was for a bark and tree bark, uh, and it's plugged into uh, basically this noise texture and this color ramp. So the color ramp currently has co three related colors, dark and light brown, right? And as you can see, it's giving a fairly great results. But the same normal map can also be used. If I just go over here to combine it, uh, plug in this uh, color ramp, you can see now it's uh, giving us a sort of a slimy look. For this, we'll just have to decrease the roughness and maybe increase the metallicness, specular, sheen tint, and clear coat, etc. Just to uh, give that sort of um, slimy look, frozen slime or something like that. And speaking of frozen, if I just to plug in it in with blue colors, actually gives this frozen sort of look maybe we'll just load in metallicness a little bit increase the clear coat you're obviously you're going to have to uh, change the settings a bit and maybe lower the roughness for this one and it gives this sort of ice sort of ice just by using the same old normal map for the tree bark so uh, as you can see we're using the uh, color ramp node to get different colors while also using uh, the, the image texture or the normal map text to sort of give, uh, get, uh, get the other uh, detailing look. So if you're someone who's new or intermediate in Blender, uh, this is a great uh, approach to get sort of results. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel and watch for another one of my videos as that's how the YouTube algorithm works. It's a small channel and it won't cost you anything. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.